guys so um i just thought i'd vlog today i'm off it's my last friday off uh for this program called summer breeze with work so i'm really really sad i'm gonna have to go back to five days a week <sighs> I'm coming to you guys with a real dry, nasty face. I just, y'all, so I wore makeup yesterday. I don't wear makeup often, y'all already know, but I wore makeup or a tinted moisturizer, which is pretty much foundation. I don't know why they call it a tinted moisturizer, but it intrigued me. And I feel like it's very easy to apply and spread around my face. So uh, I'm down for this tinted moisturizer, but y'all, like I really am starting to see like the difference. And I also use, um, I don't even know what it's called, but it's like a, a I don't know, it's a red <laughs> and it's supposed to, you, I guess it's a concealer. Um, you wear it like under your foundation to kind of like help, like, like clear up the darker spots for when your foundation goes on it doesn't bleed through y'all again we don't do makeup here so I have no idea what I'm talking about but you're very welcome to let me know in the comments below what I'm talking about because I have no idea if you could decipher this message like help me out but like I really see the difference in my face with and without makeup and I like it better with makeup but I just don't have the I don't have the patience and most of the time, I don't have the time. Like, I wake up, like, in enough time to take a shower and put clothes on and go to work. Like, I like who gets up? Well, I know some of y'all get up an extra hour, 30 minutes um, to do makeup. God bless y'all. <laughs> I just don't, I just don't have it. I don't have it in me. Um, but yeah, uh, that, I don't know what I, where are we going with this? I don't, we're vlogging today. Today's my last day of having Fridays off. Um, I got a call earlier that I've got to go pick up my contacts because this is my last pair. Um, so I just ordered those. Those came in. Over there on that side of town are some shops. So we'll go kind of browsing. We'll do some browsing. Um, I'm actually working on the Tower of Tori Shoes um, video. So I'm very excited. It looks it looks good so far. It was a lot to film because y'all had to take every pair of shoes out of the box, show y'all, and then go back through and film like a try-on. Yeah, so that's where we're at right now. Um, I'll probably be leaving in the next hour or so. Um, I might throw on a little makeup because I was like really feeling cute yesterday with makeup um, on. So we'll see, but here's my little filming process. If you guys kind of wonder, I use Adobe Premiere Pro. I'll give y'all a little snippet. They started my wedge life. I absolutely love them. I love the caging, the leather, the little zipper. So excited for this video, y'all. But yeah, super excited for this video, y'all. Ugh, it's, it's gonna be good. Y'all see my view? It looks like Pleasantville out there. This is my view from my office. It's very Pleasantville looking. Very good movie if you haven't seen it, but a lot of these homes. There's some homes towards the front that are a little more interesting and different, but these three right here, like, very Pleasantville. Like, they all look alike. It's crazy. Y'all, so this hot mess of a desk is going to be potentially a little, like, makeup station. Uh, I'm not really sure. I've got stuff out. I'm I play with these, but I've never worn them. Um, saw these from Sarah Ray Vargas. See, I'm dropping things already. Sarah Ray Vargas raves about these, and I found them on clearance one day. Um, still haven't tried them because I absolutely don't know. Y'all, this is my little nail organization kit. These are from the Dollar Tree. So these little things here for or for a dollar, and then they have little. Oops, let me not spill them. I'm one-handed here. They have little sections, and I put all of the nails that out of the kits that I haven't used in here. This one escaped here. There we go. Um, but yeah, so I need to get a few more because I've got a nail haul from Shein coming up. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using more nails. Here, I'll give y'all a sneak peek. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> but this is kind of what I used yesterday. Um, this oil, I really love the smell of it. 
Um, it came in a like beauty box when I used to do those beauty boxes um, unboxing videos. Um, I, I don't want to say back in the day, but pretty much my first set of videos. This stuff smells so good. It is really expensive. I looked it up to replace it. Um, it's kind of expensive and it's not that big of a bottle, but yay, I'm glad I got it for like on the cheap in one of those boxes. Um, this is the stuff I was talking about. Yeah, it is a concealer um, that I put on. Is it focusing? I have no idea. Y'all, I don't know. This little camera has been through it. But um, yeah, by LA Girls, it just conceals all my dark spots. Um, this is the setting spray that I use that I think I got in a beauty box. Um, that just works really well. Um, this is the, um, what is it? Tinted Moisturizer? See, it says Tinted Moisturizer. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. It says Tinted Moisturizer. I got this from Target. This was a part of my, like, cheap Clarence makeup haul that I did a while ago. And I'll try to link some of those videos because they need some love. They need some love. Those are some of my older videos. Y'all didn't know me back then. But, but, um, but yeah, it's really nice. It's truly all day wear. The only thing I don't like is that anytime I touch my face, I leave a little makeup residue on my fingers, on my nails. Um, I know, I'm new at this makeup stuff, so I still touch my face wearing makeup. But I actually prefer matte makeup. This is very, like, dewy, glowy type of uh, look. And I actually prefer... Let me see where it is. I think it's here. So, oh, here it is. Um, I got matched one day for matte makeup at Ulta. And this is more of a... MAC makeup, which is more of a matte with a T foundation. Um, so I'm probably going to throw this on today because I just kind of feel more like I want to deal with this today instead of the tinted moisturizer. Um, and then this is a brush that I absolutely love. I don't like using beauty blenders. I don't get them. They don't seem to work for me, but this um, NYX professional makeup brush. Um, I basically stipple my makeup onto my face and this has just been perfect for me. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I do a little shadow shadow here and there. Um, I'm very afraid. I've got in here because I've received a lot of little beauty boxes when I was kind of doing those. Um, so I've gotten some like really cool palettes. I just love this one because it's like a little storybook. It's so cute. But um, I've received a few palettes in those boxes. I'm just really afraid of light colors right now. I just don't know. I don't, I don't want like bold colors. Oops. Here we go. Ugh, if I could get this open one-handed. Here we go. Um, I'm just, some of these are so pretty and so fall. The terracotta, cinnamon, ugh, just emerald. Some of these are just so nice, but I just, I'm not there yet. Um, I actually have this palette that I think I got randomly from like a co-worker, I think. It was like a Christmas, um, what do you call it? when they stuff your stocking or whatever. Um, so these are just like all kind of nudes. Um, I think yesterday I wore sleek because it just, anytime there's like a brown that really matches my skin tone, I usually go for that. And this had like a tiny, tiny schmidgety bit, uh, bit of um, shimmer to it when it was on my eyes. Um, so that's just kind of what I go towards. So if you guys watch the um tour tower shoe haul um i was wearing makeup in that haul so yeah i'm 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 trying here uh, it's slowly but surely happening but yeah i've got i've got a good bit of stuff in here um just like i just want to want to try some different foundations to kind of see what i like and what i don't like and the little tour what is this uh target beauty boxes i bought before um what else was i buying i was buying um, Ipsy. Ipsy was fun. I really enjoyed Ipsy. I think one of these came, I think this came from Ipsy. Um, and then I also did, what, uh, what's the other beauty box I did? I forget the name of it. I can't remember. But if you go back, I'll link some of those videos. If you go back, those videos are awesome. 
they need some love <laughs> but yeah so I'm gonna do a combination of some of this stuff here and try to make a face of makeup on my face <laughs> I'll see you guys when we're done of course my phone had to go off right before I closed out here I'll see you guys when I'm done so before I show you guys the full OOTD, y'all, this, I didn't show this a second ago, but this mascara is everything. I'm telling you, I have like the dinkiest little lashes that go all which ways, and I would love to get a lash lift, um, but not, not Rona time. We can't do that. <laughs> Too close to my eyes. But y'all, Thrive Cosmetics. This liquid lash extensions mascara is legit legit and I've tried a lot of mascaras because that's usually all I wear as far as makeup and this one is amazing. Yes. So we are fully dressed done. Y'all I put a little makeup on. I put a little makeup on. Like I'm really liking this. I like this one better than the one I was wearing yesterday. This is the matte foundation by mac and it is nice i like it it's so nice oh yes i'm wearing a little headband today matches my shoes um i guess doing that shoe haul really inspired me to like bust out some shoes that i haven't worn from torrid so we're gonna rock these today so let me back up and get y'all prepared for this little otd oh oh Y'all, this shirt from Torrid, hilarious, out of office, because I am today, yes. I would love to be out of office all the time. Like, I would love to be, like, home office, full-time YouTuber. Like, that's that's the dream here. But until then, we we work. We work. But y'all, these shoes, these little platform sandals from Torrid that I got, like, super-duper clearance. They're so cute. Don't stare at my toes too long. Like had an issue with the press-ons. Some of them are too small. We'll figure that out. Hopefully we will stop by a store and find some more because I am obsessed. You hear me? I'm obsessed with these press-on toenails and I'll let y'all know what happened with the ones from Shein because they are not going to work. I can only probably use the ones from Kiss for a specific reason, but you guys wait for the video i will let you know i actually have to go on a hunt to find some so i can show y'all what i'm talking about because i've used all of my kiss toenails but yes otd i feel cute today oh my gosh <laughs> I feel so, cute. so it's like really hot so i'm doing like a super <laughs> ac vortex because i feel like i am melting so y'all gonna sit in the vortex with me <laughs> oh no all right, so you makeup wearing ladies, uh, quick question, what, ah, what, How, like, I know my girl Bad Mad did a tutorial on how to, like, reduce the, like, residue coming off, or your makeup coming off into your mask, I'll have to go back and rewatch that, but man, oh man, I should have put 10 coats on. Cause just I'm I'm gonna go down the street and do a little like browsing and off and on and off and on. By the time I'm done, I'm not gonna have anything left on my face, which will be probably great. Cause by that time I'll be home, right? Like so I don't know, but uh, I don't know. How y'all do this? Let me know in the comments because I don't like it. Y'all, I swear this trip almost didn't happen. There are so many people parked out here. I'm kind of scared to even go in. Um, but there's still signs up limiting people in the store. So we'll see. But y'all. I just don't have the patience for this. So 100% got vlog shy. There was a lot of people in that store. I was just kind of in and out. I didn't buy anything um at all i got two things from home goods i'll show y'all when i get home i'm gonna head to target i'm just giving up on shop with me vlogs right now because it just doesn't matter how early in the day you go like there's just a lot of people out and about 
Um, I did look, y'all look. I don't know if you can even see, but mask and makeup definitely do not go together. Um, I can see like the color difference from where my mask was. It's it's terrible. Um, I don't know, looking in the screensaver right now, or the screen, it doesn't look as bad, but if you're really good, you can see, like, the darker areas where it's darker on my natural face is way darker than the color of the makeup, so, I don't know, but, um, I guess there's a Duck Donuts over here now, I've never been, um, so, I got a milkshake, y'all! Uh, maple bacon milkshake. It's interesting. I can't even talk. It's interesting. Um, bits of bacon in it. I mean, it does have a base of, like, vanilla ice cream, so it's not bad. I probably am not gonna drink this whole thing, but... Mmm. Mmm. It was worth a try. I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling it. Yeah, I don't know. But, um, anyway, I'm heading to Target. Probably not gonna vlog. <laughs> um, so... I don't know. I don't even know if I'm gonna put this vlog up, y'all. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, y'all. So, I forgot to tell y'all something. When we were over at Duck Donuts... Um, I was in there, full mask on, all you could see are my eyes, because I wear my mask above my nose, like you're supposed to, and this older guy came in, no, my grandfather's age, I'm not sure, and he looked at me, and he was like, and he just kept looking at me, so, like, okay, I'm borderline ready to roll my eyes, like, what is your problem, and he's like, you don't remember me? Okay, y'all, this man had a mask on, too. Sir, no, I don't know you. You don't remember me? You don't used to live on Dorchester Road? Uh, no, sir. Um, oh, you look familiar. How I look familiar? I'm thinking to myself, how do I look familiar and I'm wearing a full mask? Sir, you don't know me. I don't, I don't, what? You don't know me. Y'all don't know people by just their eyes. Like, really? Really? Sir, get your life. Like, seriously. Like, really. I just came out of Target. And I realized, like, I'm going to go to dinner probably in the next hour and a half with some friends. And I didn't bring any, like, like, touch-up supplies. And I'm feeling, it doesn't really look bad as I'm looking in the viewfinder here. But I'm feeling in real life time, real crazy blotching y'all I don't do makeup but I see it and it's annoying me and I don't even remember the color of this this makeup so I can't even go like get another bottle of it and be like oh I just learned my lesson I know to like bring it with me so that I could do touch-ups if needed but this is the reason why I don't wear makeup is I don't like dealing with having to touch up do all of this do all of that that's just not my thing so, it's just going to be what it is. I did get a foundation brush, and I've been kind of, like, spreading it around. See if I could pick it up from someplace else and fill it in. I don't know, but, yeah. Makeup is just not for me. It's so pretty, and it's nice, and maybe I'll start doing it for film days, but it's just not for me. I get aloe gloss, though. My lips looking kind of dry. But, uh, yeah, I'll show y'all everything I got, of course, when I get home. Because I'm terrible at in-store vlogging, even though I love shop with me's. Like, I don't know what's going on here. I'm just feeling some kind of way. There's just a lot of people, and people look at you weird, especially when it's in a, a, a part of town or a place that people don't normally vlog in. I'm just now starting to get comfortable vlogging in my car with somebody sitting in their car next to me. Because I used to wait until they got out of their car do what they had to do before I would pick up the camera. But now I don't care. So maybe I'll get there. Like, one day at a time, maybe I'll get there. But, uh, yeah. 
where am I going now? I have no idea. Y'all, there's a Ross across the street, and I absolutely do not feel like going. Like, I think I'm coming down with something, because I don't feel like going to Ross. Like, like, who am I? Why don't I feel like going to Ross? I, I don't know. So you guys are going to get a sweet little surprise. I'm actually downtown Charleston really, really early. Well, not really early, like an hour early for dinner. Um, so I'm going to go walk around the, um, not the battery, Waterfront Park. I have no idea where I am anymore because it's been months since I've been down here. So we're just going to go hang out. Maybe I'll show you some of my favorite photography spots and it should be time for dinner after like one little lap. So so hot but it's so pretty out here y'all i'm so excited i haven't been downtown in so long but this little street here is one of my favorites to shoot on when i do like photography work and stuff but y'all how stinking pretty is this street and i think it's like a one-way street so just all the cobblestones just really really cute I don't know, this is such a beautiful city. <sighs> One of my favorite spots, I have shot myself here. Um, just, I love all the ivy and stuff on these stairs. It's just, it's really pretty. There's just so many nooks and crannies walking around Charleston, like I've lived here a long time and I feel like I haven't seen every nook and cranny but these little areas like this are just awesome to shoot in so 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 pretty i don't know this is so nice i haven't done this in so long oh this is crazy and then i'm not wearing a mask because i'm outside but i do have one in my pocket just in case a lot of people come here to see this beloved pineapple i'm not gonna film too close because there are people over there but yeah yeah there's a lot of people and their kids over here but I mean you pretty much get the gist of it it's a big pineapple oh y'all this is my city it's so crazy I haven't been out here in so long it's crazy the things that you take for granted it really is insane the things that you take for granted when like you're like you're supposed to stay home and away from people like I used to just come out here just to come out here and oh y'all it is so stinking beautiful out here love 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 Ooh, here's a really good view here's a really good view of the pineapple I think if you can see it properly I don't know oh, there's eh, it looks okay it's kind of lit kind of weird but that is the pineapple I don't want people's kids in my video so we can't see can't show you too much of it but gets a little nasty out here when it rains but yet yeah, so stinking beautiful just to come out here and just and sometimes the cruise ship when it's normal life is here so that just makes it even like nicer but I don't know what construction they're doing but there's a very large crane over there that is fairly new but yeah, this is, this is Waterfront Park. So there's also this awesome fountain out here. I won't get too close because people's kids are over there playing. But yeah. And then along this boardwalk here, there's these awesome little swings that you can never get a hold of. Because there's always somebody in one. But I've gotten lucky a few times. But yeah. Oh, this is crazy. I haven't been out here in so long. It just feels like nostalgic. Like I haven't been here in years. It's really crazy. Sailboats are going out. Gorgeous. And this large grassy area here. People come out here and lay and read and bring their kids to run around. Pretty awesome little place here. This little area here may seem like nothing, but it's one of my absolute favorite spots to shoot here downtown. This is absolutely one of my favorite spots to shoot downtown because this gate and this gate close 
and it makes just a pretty 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 little scene um, it's a little bit of a struggle so I'm not gonna try to do it one-handed but I'll insert some photos of some families that I've shot here gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and just the cobblestones just all of this this is actually a one-way street so it's easy to shoot on because um, you only have to worry about the cars coming from this way um, so things always work out really nice here so But yeah, oh, this is my town. Gosh, it's so pretty out here. It is so stinking pretty out here. Y'all, this is crazy. Like I'm feeling like real nostalgic right now. I feel like a little bit of a tourist in my own city since I haven't been down here so long, but it's just so stinking nice and there's not a ton of people. So it's really serene. And I found a quiet little spot here covered with trees so it's not as hot as it normally is but oh I really love Charleston like as a kid I really like didn't like when people were like oh you're some from South Carolina mm, I'm from New York that's where my family's from is what I would always say but I love Charleston I love being from Charleston it's just it's a really like it's a good bit of both because when I come downtown I really feel like it's like city life you know the way I drive when I come down here but where I live is the suburbs and it's nice and quiet and not crazy and the cost of living is not high but yeah it's so nice oh I'm about to head to dinner so I'm gonna end this I really truly cannot get over how nice it is out here the sun is nice I, I think I feel fall coming y'all because <laughs> it's not like blazing hot even though the sun is out Fall is a coming. Ooh, recording in the garage is nice. If I get some like nice lighting, yes. So I'm about to head to dinner with some friends. If they feel like being in the vlog, I'll throw in a clip because I'm actually going to a restaurant I've never been to down here. And it's supposed to be a really popular restaurant, so we'll see. Y'all. Saffron, so good. Look at this food. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So good. You want to be in the vlog? Here with the family. Hey, we're here with the family. But then they have red velvet cheesecake too. And see, Christina said she had a red velvet cake. Mm hmm. And it was good. Yeah. Okay, because it had. Y'all. Oh my goodness. So good. Look at this guy. Red velvet cheesecake. made it home um dinner was so so good saffron i had never been there before but it was really good and so nice to meet my best friend's mom for the first time she's the sweetest so awesome really good just a great little dinner it was really good felt comfortable because the restaurant was very empty but just really i don't know it's just nice to have little spurts of normal life here and there not as often as i would but yeah um what did i buy today i don't remember i went and picked up my contacts i did get this cute thing here it's too funny happy halloween um just i don't have lots of halloween decor so why not get this one um and then as you guys remember from my hello fresh i needed a peeler so i have one now and y'all new color from lip bar i actually paid full price for this guy i did not wait for lip bar clearance it was like 12 bucks which is like a lot for me when it comes um to like makeup this one is called 
boss lady that's what i'm talking about boss lady um so yeah so it's like a red red i hope it looks so pretty i can't wait to try it but it is a liquid matte lipstick or yeah liquid matte really good stuff love this brand um i don't remember what else i bought honestly don't remember what else i bought so <laughs> Um, it wasn't much, if anything else. I think, oh, 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 here, 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 here. Let's, that's going to be shaky. Um, I found this cute shirt. Here, look. Can we throw it out on the steps? I don't know. Um, I don't know if you guys can get the drift from Ava and Viv. I haven't purchased anything from Ava and Viv in a long time, but it was 70% off. I got it in a 1X. It's got a little frill on the outside, kind of like the little dotted, I don't know what these are, kind of polka dots where they kind of do something with the fabric to make it look dotted. Um, and then the arms have like a little bit of elastic on them, but it's a great fall color, so very, very excited. Excuse the trash can, I had to dump my upstairs trash, so these are tiny little bathroom trash can so i bring them downstairs to dump them but i think that was it i think that was officially everything that i bought i don't know um just i don't know i've been like i don't know i just haven't been really good at vlogging lately like i really want to do a vacation vlog like i'm so much more confident when i'm vlogging in an airport and on vacation and you guys will have to like check out my vacation vlogs that I have already up. They're a little old. They need love too. Those older videos need love. But um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I guess we'll do a full weekend vlog. I plan to actually try to hopefully, hopefully, hopefully paint this maybe tomorrow. I hope so. I'm going to try to get up early and paint my island. Look at Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty, do you need a kiss to wake up? Her little blanket. I love this blanket. I found it at Big Lots. It's got little cats on it. And it's all hers. Hi, honey buns. Hi, honey buns. Hi, honey buns. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. But yeah, I'm going to paint my island white. Yeah, I think white. Just to, or, I think they left this wall color, whatever this is, eggshell. I don't know. Eggshell, I'm not sure. But I'm probably going to paint it back to that. Whatever paint I have in the garage, I don't know what I have. But I'm painting it because I think this orange and this orange for my wall here. Back up a little bit. It's just too much. I want this wall to be like a surprise when you walk into my house. So to hide the fact that there's some orange in here, I'm going to paint this one a neutral color so that you see the big wall and you're not like mesmer so mesmerized by the island being orange that you like don't care about the big wall because I prefer the big wall. But anyway... Good morning. I've got a random spoon here. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I came up to get you guys because I kind of remembered that I was vlogging this weekend. Uh, so I'm heating up my leftovers from yesterday for breakfast. I mean, it was shrimp and grits, so that's breakfast, right? Um, so yeah, I think today's the day. I'm in the mood, so I think I'm just going to try to go ahead and get it done before I'm no longer in the mood. But y'all, I think I'm going to paint Spoon again. <laughs> I think I'm going to paint the island. This young lady here. Do y'all see how, like, how much she matches the floor? Like, she scares me sometimes because I'll look around the corner and she'll just be standing there. You don't see the reflection of her collar. And she like she's like black and brown, just like the floor is kind of like a black brown wood. It's freaky sometimes. It really is kind of creepy. But I don't. She's waiting for something that she's not gonna get because she assumes she's supposed to get soft food every day, and that is not the case. But 
I think I'm going to paint. Y'all, this green tape has been here since before I, I fully moved in. Because I was going to get this done prior to moving in, but it just never happened. So, yeah, I think it's going to happen today. I really hope so. Leftovers for breakfast. There's like a piece of kebab somewhere under there. This is like the remnants of my shrimp and grits. I'm so glad they gave you a lot of like brown sauce. There's some shrimp. Um, because the grits did not harden overnight in my refrigerator, which is awesome because usually grits don't warm well, but these grits warmed really well. Yay! Mm, looks like mush, but it's really good. So I was gonna do a separate video, but I think I'm just gonna include it in this vlog here. Y'all, HelloFresh came the other day. I'll insert the clip of me bringing it in, probably like here. Hello Fresh, y'all. I don't understand how FedEx drops this off and my ring does not go off, because it did not go off. But HelloFresh is here, yay! Friday, so it's HelloFresh day. Fridays is when I receive my HelloFresh meals. Very, very excited for what this week is going to bring. All right, now we're back. <laughs> um, just this movie magic, I guess, right? So I got sesame Szechuan pork noodles. And there's that guy for the pork noodles. Is that, that says pork? Steakhouse pork. Oh, <laughs> y'all. I'm crazy. This is my last meal left over. Huh. So I kind of got that backwards. Here we go. Try that again. Here are the pork noodles bag here with some ground pork. That's for that guy. Then we got some herby. Herby balsamic pork tenderloin. This one is very porky. I just realized that I picked all pork based dinners. Um, so this is the bag for that guy. Um, ooh, my food is ready to rock and roll. I had to add some more heat to it. But this is a pork tenderloin for that. This is some lemonade. I really shouldn't have, but I really wanted lemonade. Um, and my last meal is Gouda pork burgers. Those look really, really good. Um, with the exception, I'm not gonna probably have mayonnaise on mine, but y'all already know. Um, and then this bag is big. I assume there's like two big nice buns in here so yeah and then you get ground pork to make your booger patties but i just thought i would throw in because i'm not doing an unboxing i'm just kind of showing y'all what my hello fresh was for this week and then i put a pause on it after the second week because again um as you can see i had a meal left over from last week so i now have four meals in this refrigerator so i'm definitely gonna go ahead and cook up um, that meal left from last week so that I can like just meal prep it for lunch for next week um, Because I don't want the food to go bad um, But yeah, I did put a hold on it just to kind of take a little bit of a break from it because I'm not eating all three meals in one week, so So yeah, I had a random thought. I just wanted to show you guys my favorite thing in my house so far that I've put together um can we say design-wise? I don't know, but it's this little jar. It's a little mason jar by Ball, um, and I put honey in it. I just kind of made my own little honey jar. Um, I bought this little thing from Ikea. I just thought it was really cute. It's like a honey, I don't know what this thing is called, a little honeycomb thing, and I wanted to like have a jar that I could fit this in but have this stick out. Um, so that it wasn't fully submerged and this just kind of worked out perfectly It's got a little top. It's a glass jar because y'all know I'm loving just all full glass Around here, but this is my favorite thing in this whole house so far kind of <laughs> It's just I don't know just very very random. I am I am very very random. I am All right y'all so I'm set up <laughs> finally got my life together cut a tarp up we've got it laid because I'm going to attempt to get rid of this orange island yeah we'll see I don't know if I'm gonna film a separate video but I'll show you kind of like a just this is where we're at y'all I cannot wait for fall I have like all of my windows open in my living dining area 
and it's actually a little breezy today. Oh, it's going to be so nice. Oh, I'm excited. But yeah, we're going to attempt to get rid of this orange wall and see how we do. All right, y'all. So I did a lot today. Like, I feel so stinking accomplished. Like, y'all, she's so nice. I put my, like, um, chairs back. But, ugh. It just, even, like, after I was done, I feel like it felt more, like, bright and airy in here because just I just needed this not to be orange this orange yes and I keep showing y'all this orange bueno this orange was a no-go so I'm very happy with this very very proud of myself just feel like I did so much today like I mean painting is hard um, shout out to people that do it for a living because I mean this definitely was far from like good or perfect but it was a lot of work y'all I've dug out my little diffuser it smells so good in here this is an old one I have from Pier 1 called Oceans and it smells so good so so good in here y'all too bad y'all can't whiff that. But yeah, Pier 1's closing a lot of places, so I don't know if this even exists anymore. But yeah. And then I'm doing something I probably should have done a long time ago, but I'm cleaning my oven because it's a self-clean oven. And we've got 19 minutes left. This has been self-cleaning for about four hours. So hopefully all of the grit and grime is gone. If not, I will have to attempt a different type of cleaner, but we will see. Just, I can't even, y'all, I can't even explain how grimy, like, I don't think this oven has been cleaned since it was first, like, put in here. I don't know how many owners have owned this place. This place is only about four years old, but it was grimy, like like an explosion went off in there 50 times and it was just oozing with just grime and grease and like at one point I was so discouraged I was going to like buy a new stove because I was like I don't know if this is ever going to be cleaned I used what is it um what is the stuff called I think I have some I used a few cans of this easy off stuff um, it worked for the glass top of the stove, but inside it made absolutely like not a second of a dent. Um, I'm kind of mad because I did the self-cleaning and then like probably 10 minutes ago realized that I had taken the racks out to try to clean them myself and I probably should have put them back because I don't, I mean, I would assume the heat from cleaning, self-cleaning the oven would have taken care of the racks too i don't know um i saw some new racks on amazon so i'm probably gonna just throw those in my cart and order them but y'all i'm glad the outside of the oven was nice but and is good and it's not as grimy but i don't know what was going on in this oven because i have no idea like i've never seen an oven like that bad in person me personally like, even the oven from my rental, I went to and I was like, do we, like, we lived there, like, two years. And I was like, did we cause that much grime? Like, what? So I just went and opened it. I was like, no, no, it does not look as bad as the one at my new house. So I don't know. But we've got 15 minutes left. I'll come back and kind of show you guys what the result is. Because I've never self-cleaned an oven. I think the oven at my last rental didn't have the self clean option so we'll see oh god all right so the oven is finally done and cooled off so i was unable i was able to unlock it um very ashy um i don't know the door is what i was most concerned with um excuse my hair the door was what i was most concerned with so we'll see it's a lot of ash in there so it looks 
pretty clean. Hopefully all of this just wipes up pretty well. And then I'm going to wipe off this door and kind of see if all of this comes clean. Um, if so, then yay. So we'll see. All right, so I'm very excited and happy about the oven door. It looks pristine, y'all. Just, I don't know. I guess this is like char from it being so hot. But the oven is still really kind of hot a little bit. So I'm not going to go inside just yet. I want to cool it, let it cool off a little bit more because I could feel this like cloth rag whatever heating up as I wiped off the door but I'm happy about the door like I couldn't have asked for anything else I don't know I you know that was my bad for me not I guess realizing how well a self-cleaning oven self-cleans <laughs> I don't know I kind of looked up what it actually did because I don't even think I really truly understood um, how it worked because um, I don't think I've ever had a self-cleaning oven so but yeah I, this is something if you have a self-cleaning oven you need to do at least like what at least once a year like I don't think people's ovens get this bad I have no idea if the last people just dealt with it because they just didn't know like, I don't know, but I definitely was not cooking in that oven until I got some sort of something cleaned or replaced because it was, it was not cute. It was just not cute. So I'm going to let this cool off a bit more and then handle the bottom inside and I have a perfectly good pristine oven now. Yay, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You guys, I'm so happy. Ah, so I found the racks out in the garage. Um, when I first moved in here, I pulled these out and sprayed them with the easy off stuff and just forgot about them in the garage. So they came fairly clean. Not the best, but they're somewhat clean. But it looks way better, y'all. Like, I would actually cook something in this in this oven. Like, especially the front. Like, you're not cooking on this, but it was just so nasty. Like, it, I, no words. But very, very happy. <laughs> I, I don't have any words. Like, um, I probably should have did this when I first moved in. But, I don't know, like, I just didn't think this was going to come clean. I was going to, I don't know what I was going to do. I really, like, had, like, I was going to order a new stove from Lowe's. Like, I was there. I had it in my cart. I almost hit buy. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to give us the time. I'm going to try this self-clean option, even though I had no faith. But, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. So, yeah. The stove is clean. The stove is clean. Or somewhat clean. You know, it's not a brand new stove. I'm not the first person to live here, but it is what it is. Good morning. Isn't this beautiful? Ah, I love using this thing, my little mister. Yes. All right. Um, I really don't know what I'm going to do today. I may try to tackle my closet right now. I am extremely modifying my last HelloFresh meal from last week because I don't want the at least the protein to go bad. So for breakfast, we're doing a little pork chops from that HelloFresh meal. And then I've got some eggs. So pork chops and eggs, it's pretty much almost like brunch time. Not really even breakfast hardly anymore. But that's, that's what's going on right now. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing today. I might, I'm going to turn on church, so maybe I'll pop in when church is on and let you guys worship with me a little bit. Yes. Um, but yeah, that's it. I, I really hopefully kept it chill this weekend besides painting. I'm tired, and I just want to relax. Finished product. Yay. I told y'all, my life is so basic. 
Eggs and pork chops for breakfast. Here we go. Church in the loft with my favorite girl. Relaxing. I'm about to get our church on. Woo -woo. I love this place. Oh my gosh. Like... I don't know, I for some reason fell off a little bit even watching online. Um, so it just feels good to be back in a little bit of a groove watching church online. Next week, I'm actually going to be going back in because we've got some anniversary stuff going on. We've got some special stuff. And my babies are back in session. I work with the little one-year-olds and I am beyond excited to start working with them again. Um, oh my gosh like and it's sad because a lot of my ones it's been so long they're now two so oh but y'all look at this look at this these are my people look at this gosh my people man well happy sunday morning cathedral family thank you for joining us this morning if you happen to be in the room, thank you for continuing to honor one another by respecting those precautions that we put in place. You have been absolutely amazing throughout this entire season. If you're watching at home via Facebook, take just a quick moment to comment. Let us know that you're watching from home. We'd love to see those wonderful emojis in real time. That would be wonderful. We've got a great service plan for you. Tiki gave us five steps as a road yeah. to navigating this challenging season that we find all of ourselves in. Here they are. He talked about, first of all, facing the facts. Number two, knowing the word. Number three, resisting the enemy. Number four, continuing pursuit. And number five, confessing the promise. Yes. If you happen to miss the message last week, that's okay. You can catch up. You can go to our website and our app and you can do it there. I cannot wait to hear what he has for us today. It's a subject, by the way, that's very dear to my heart. I feel like I've given my whole life to the subject, the power of praise. It's time. Hey. Yeah. I got to do this for Yeah. Hey. My pastor's flyer than oh, yours. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Y'all learned by now I like interaction. All right, everybody online, it's good to have you here with us as well. Uh, it's so excited to spend some time with you. Guys, I got you up here, so don't forget. I know you're out there. I'll be coming back to you a couple times in here. Go ahead and hit some emojis. So another day attempting <laughs> this closet, y'all. I just don't. I don't think this is ever <laughs> gonna go anywhere. This poor closet is just a mess. I have no words. I'm gonna try to straighten it up a little bit more. This is like the second time I've attempted to like do some sort of straightening in here. It just, I don't know. I, re I have no words. I don't even know how to begin how to organize this closet. I have no idea. But just a whole bunch of just randomness. Like, I don't know. I mean, I love that it's a larger closet. Let me step back. Love that it's a larger closet, but uh, I just, I definitely need to purge some clothes as well. So that may be like the problem here, but yeah, it's, I'll, yeah, we don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. So here we are. <laughs> you can see the floor. I need a vacuum too, but I guess I don't, I, there's not a difference to be honest. <laughs> Uh, I don't think so. Um, this needs to be closed. But, uh, yeah. Here we are. Second phase of this closet. 
can finally see this floor. Have one more basket of clothes to go through. Um, we'll save that for another day, maybe next month. <laughs> I don't know.